Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create isometric 3D design in PowerPoint. This is how the slide looks. When I click, it will pop up the uh, mobile phone and then the option comes with the icons. You can see this is the option 1, then option 2, 3, 4 and 5. You can see 3, 4 and 5 with the shadow effect. These are the prerequisites to make this slide. You need PowerPoint 2013 and above version. You need to have a basic PowerPoint knowledge on shapes and animations. And I recommend you to watch my free PowerPoint training videos. And you have to you need to have any five different icons or you can download it from the nonproject.com. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, right mouse click and change the background. Select gradient fill and I have added two stops with a blue gray color schemes go to insert shapes select a rounded corners rectangle draw the rectangle make it somewhat less curve and you can make it a black color with no outline and under Format shape effects, go to 3D rotation and select off axis to top so it will change something like this. Increase the size of somewhat, make it more bigger and then go to 3D format and increase the depth maybe this is okay 22 25.5 and then you can select a different contour and the material sorry you can select the material and the lighting so for this maybe I'll select the uh, metal and lighting let me just select chili all right or if you can change you can change the angle also something like this so it will give you some uh, metallic finish here select this option again press ctrl d make it duplicate and go to effects remove the depth make it to zero and give a a lighter black color reduce the size a little bit and place it at the center let me give some lighter color to this this is much darker go to format and shape fill select this color and Ctrl D once again, duplicate the slide, make it a darker color, increase the size, this is for the shadow effect and then come to the effects, under effects, soft edges, increase the, you can see this one and then send this to back. So this will give you a nice a shadow effect. You can increase further. And then we'll start adding the options. Select this, press Ctrl D once more. Reduce the size. something like this a smaller also and then select a gradient fill instead of this I'm going to select two different colors first I'm going to select a kind of red and instead of radial you can just select maybe linear and the other color I'm going to select maybe pink so it will look something like this and 
you can increase a little bit of the depth so I'm just going to add a little bit of depth maybe three point is enough reduce the size further and place here one I'll reduce the size further and control D added one more here so I've added two now I'm going to add one more a bigger size increase the size so this will come here press ctrl D I'm going to add one more a little bigger and I'm going to add some shadow effect press ctrl D one more time and make it a solid fill with no depth remove the depth and solid fill to you can just say solid fill to black or lighter gray let me just fill with black only and you can increase the transparency level send this back so it looks like it's floating and then I'm going to add one more reduce the size sorry and add the shadow effect again I'll reduce the size further send back and lastly one more I'm going to add still smaller and place it here and for this also I'm going to add the shadow effect press ctrl D reduce the size and place it here and send this also to back so you can see the uh, design is almost ready now it's time to add the icons and the text now let's add the icons so for this I got this icon so I'm just going to select this icon and under the effects go down go to 3d rotation and select this off axis to top and paste it here if you want you can add one more icon also and then I'm just going to select this this three options and group it control G and then I'm going to select this option let me just select all these options and do the 3d duration at the same time I'll select this I'll paste it here then this maybe comes on top this will come here and this will come here I'll make somewhat back this all right now I'm just going to select these options control G group select these two options control G group select these two options control G group and the last select these options actually I forgot to select the shadow also you need to group it along with the shadow so let me just see whether I have copied it 
yeah this is along with the shadow now i'm going to add the arrow here for that go to insert shapes select a connector elbow arrow first i'm going to add the arrow here but the arrow connector type go to curved and then drag this down can you see here so it will give you very nice uh, kind of this effect and then you can give the line the same color all right and then press ctrl d add for this also the same and here ctrl d i'm just going to change this bring it here something like this and then ctrl d rotate it place it here i need to just correct this one so make it up like this don't make it down something like this and control d duplicate and this is for the last one now then add the text here go to insert and text just say option maybe this is two I'm going to give a yellow font for this or orange and then you can go to the effects and select this one so this is option 2 control D control D again so this is option 1 2 control D but here I'm just going to change the off axis to right something like this control D and one more here and if you want you can add the detailed text here so let's add the animation now close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane first select the main this one the mobile and just say float in can you see it's float in if you want you can make it fast or let it be fast only don't do any changes and then it should come the this one the shadow for that shadow i'm just going to say or maybe a uh, fade I'll say with previous and then just delay the size uh, delay to 0.75 seconds so this is how it works and then comes the this part for this also I will just say fade with previous so this will come and then then i'm just going to do one by one now i'm just going to select this option either you can just select fade or appear if i select fade fade it will like something like this and then i'll select this i'll say wipe wipe instead of bottom i have to say wipe, wipe sorry wipe from top and all those things you have to make it after previous and then the text comes text also 
you can just say appear after previous so if you see here this will come and then the options now I'm just going to use the animation painter select this one then the arrow animation then the text animation and then with this I'm going to the next one and then arrow animation so instead of this you can just say from bottom and then the same animation effect for the text and the last one before this select this animation select this animation and then comes the last one the arrow and this is the last text you can edit this text name so let's see how it looks in the slideshow so this is our final animation so this is how it looks like when I click it will come the text one by one and then you can add more text here and you can edit this text as well as the icons that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.